The closure of the hotels, the Laja Coele and the Manele Bay Resort has impacted the entire island of which about 97% is owned by billionaire Larry Ellison. The economy here is very small. Mm -hmm. So we have we have 3,000 people and if you think of the economy it's almost almost like a small fish tank. So it doesn't take a lot to push it one way or the other. Yeah. You know, it upset the balance. And the uh, for the moment the driver of the economy here is tourism. Mm -hmm. And with the uh, with the resorts closed and the Long Island guests, that just has a huge impact on our local businesses. Yeah. And that's why uh, day trippers are so important because back to that, it just doesn't take much to tip it. Um, you know, if we could generate an extra, you know, 10, 20 day trips just in a day, that actually adds up to millions of dollars in the local economy over a year. Yeah. And because the economy is really so small, it, that's huge impacts. Mm -hmm. Came all the way from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 11 hours in the air, and been to Maui, Maui Noikaoi, but we always make sure we come to Lanai because it's just so beautiful here and it's a little more private. And we love Hukapo Park. Uh, the Marine Reserve is fantastic snorkeling. Uh, we see parrotfish and uh, anything else that's under the water there. We really love it, and the flowers and the palm trees. And it's beautiful. We love to hike the tide pools. And uh, we go over to Sweetheart Rock. And I guess we've been sweethearts a long time, huh? 45 years, so she's brought us good luck. <laughs> Local businesses, mainly small businesses in Lanai City owned by residents, have had a challenging time to adjust to the hotel's closures. We lost the hotel gas, the one. Two, some of the locals actually transferred to different four seasons. So I lost yeah, probably 10% of my local crowd moved away. Temporarily, they, they was like, oh, we'll be back in eight months, we'll be back in a year. I'm going, I'm going to work Vegas, I'm going to work uh, Big Island Four Seasons, I go, you know, so they would kind of move away. Yep. And then the rest of the people that actually was hotel workers that got placed in, you know, temporary jobs that they showed you doing all this stuff. Now, all of a sudden, there's no shift work. They all work daytime. So daytime, that town is dead. Mm -hmm. Did you know a lot of things would be closed, like the restaurants down there, the golf course, or wasn't really that wasn't something for us, to be honest. Yeah, it's yeah. like, well, okay, we want to see. So the fact that no one sees is actually quite nice. <laughs> <laughs>